So here we have over 200 live TV channels with a fully working program guide, absolutely free, that you can enjoy on your Fire Stick, on your Android TV. Now this application doesn't require any kind of registration, no usernames, no passwords. You don't need to use any kind of VPN. You don't need to use any kind of mouse toggle. With this latest update, we get this brand new Discover feature which will now allow you to aggregate all of your favorite streaming services into this single application. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's Watching get the new started. Tech Doctor UK Extra channel. If you're looking for the latest updates, latest streaming applications, all of your tips and tricks, and of course my live streams, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications so you don't miss out. Now just to confirm on the Amazon devices, if you have the latest version, which has the new Discover feature, if you go over to your settings, go into applications, go to manage and install applications, and here we can see Plex is running 9.2. So as long as your Plex version is 9. something, you know you have the latest version, which has this new Discover feature. Now here we can see I've just installed the application, the latest version, and the first thing it says, do you want to sign up or continue as guest? Now you can sign up if you want to create favorites, add watch lists, and just get more of a feature rich experience. But in my demonstration, I'm gonna click on continue as guest, just to show you what's possible. And we can see straight away on the home screen, we now have a bunch of live TV channels, lots of different content, lots of different shows, episodes, and anything I want to watch. Uh, let's just try uh, this one over here. Click on that. Give that a second and that should take me straight into that live channel and I can now enjoy all of that content and it's working great. And let's press back on the remote. Now if I go down, this is now showing me the, the free movies available on Plex that you can access again without any registration, without any login. All of this great content is available absolutely free. Now we have the different genres here. We have crime time, we have uh, Nicolas Cage stuff, most popular stuff. This feature with the free movies was obviously available on the previous version, but we can see on the latest one, they really have increased their library of you know great free content. So you have comedy, you have Leaving Soon, award winners, black cinema, cheap thrills, trending trailers. And now it's talking about services. Now if I go to the left, if I go to discover, let's click on that. We can see now gives you the option to select your streaming services. So if I click on that, this is now asking you which streaming services do you have installed on your device. And once it can see that, it will then aggregate all of the content from the streaming services into the single application. So yes, I use Prime Video, I use Disney Plus, Netflix, and you can see guys, they really do have a massive library of these different streaming services. And we know many of them do offer lots of free content like a &E, like ABC. Uh, let's keep going down. So I'm sure you'll recognize these very popular streaming services. We have Comedy Central, we have Crunchyroll, we have the CW, which again has lots of free content. Uh, let's click that for example. We have Discovery, Discovery Plus, so I'm sure you'll recognize we have FilmRise, which again is a great application offering completely free content. And let's select that. So I'll be surprised if you can't see your favorite streaming service on there because I think they pretty much got them all. Here's IMDb a TV channel. Let's add that in. Uh, keep going down. Here's the Magellan TV or the Magellan TV. Great documentary application. Uh, you have Netflix. Uh, we have Peacock TV and we can see we have Peacock Premium because as you guys know, Peacock do actually have a very large library of completely free content. It does require a free registration, but once you're registered, you do have access to lots of free content. So I'll enable that. Here's the very popular Pluto TV. You also have Redbox, which again has lots of great free content. Roku channel. Keep going down. We have Tubi TV. Let's add that in. Okay, and you also have YouTube free, so let's add that. Let's click on done. 
And what's gonna happen now is it's gonna go through all of those services, find out what's available, and present all of that content inside Plex. So again, I'm not gonna sign in. Let's just do continue without saving. That's now going to refresh all of that content. And here we can see all of that content really nicely presented. We can see the different categories and this is now scraping that content from those services I selected. So for example, here we can see popular in history. And now the only slight thing I've noticed on the 4K Fire Stick or on the Amazon devices, it's not fully developed yet. So that I can see all of my supported services, anything I've subscribed to, now, if I want to watch something, like if I want to watch this, um, the kids in the hall, let's click on that. We can see this tells me that this is available in Prime Video. But if I click on that, it unfortunately doesn't actually launch Prime Video for me. So we can see, although it allows you to see which service is offering this content, you can't directly launch it from the Fire Stick version. Whereas Plex running on Android TV, you can find your content and with one click, you can actually launch the application that has that content for you. So I do think that the Fire Stick version still needs some more work, but hopefully with another update, they can get this working. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Plex, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Now, if we go to the live TV, we can see with the latest version, this also has a very nice update. We get to see that fully working program guide, the EPG, and all of the channels have been broken down into these different categories. So we have entertainment, movies, reality, news, kids, lifestyle, sports, and, and more up here. So for example, I'm only interested in um, movies. I can click on that, and this will then take me to the movie channels only. And for a test, if we try this sailing channel, click on that. Once again, in a couple of seconds, we are straight into that content. So really easy to use. Lots of different content, lots of different genres that we can access absolutely free. Let's back out of that. And there's even some podcasts in there. So you can see, guys, in terms of a free application, Plex really have bundled lots of great free content in here. Lots of live TV channels. And now with this Discover feature, you really can go ahead and integrate all of your favorite streaming services into this single application. So, and that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think with this latest version of Plex, with all of those new live TV channels, with all of those video on demand content, I definitely think it's worthwhile checking out. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.